everyone. I'm sorry I have not made a video in a while. But <clears throat> as you can see today, we are focusing on the symphonic. Oh wait. On the symphonic television. It's a CRT television. If it will ever come into focus, maybe I need to... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, well, down there is a 13-inch personal television. So, I'm not sure if it means a screen or the whole thing, but it probably means a screen. Um... <laughs> I believe this television said it was built in 2002. Um. Oh, here it is. Well, right there. Somewhere around here. This is June 2002. Sorry if my camera's so dry, I don't know why. It was manufactured in June 2002. I'm not exactly sure how much this buddy weighs. Um, his, he weighs a bit, <laughs> but not too much. All right, so, so when I turn this, and uh, I'm not sure what this T, when we got this TV, um, because whenever we got it, I was not born yet. <sighs> and, um, my, this, I think this is the original remote for it. Because there's the power button, the game button, which is the auxiliary input. That's right there. Sleep, which I have never clicked this button ever. Display, I'm not sure what that is. Channel select buttons, I have used these because... This was actually once a TV of mine when I was like five or six. Channel up, channel down, volume down, volume up. Mute and menu buttons. But this um thing feels a this remote feels uh, the but buttons feel like the ZX Spectrum, which is really ridiculous. All right, well, let's just turn this thing on. And this is oh, this is always gonna be down here. I am never putting this upstairs because this TV um does not match up to my LG TV that I have in my um bedroom, and I'll put it up in some like thing on the screen somewhere we can little magic. And poof. Okay. So um here's a television. Now I have it on channel three and it goes up to a hundred and twenty-five and for some reason like it does have channel three, four, five, six. But for some reason, I set it to like it goes up straight up to seven. <laughs> and I'm not sure why. So, you're probably asking me what I use this TV for. Well, thanks for asking. I use it for my Atari Flashback 2, which I got for free. This random five disc changer, um, Sony DVD CD player. I oh. Here it is. Here's another one. DVP NC600. It supports CD and video. No idea what the heck that is. And my wonderful Atari 2600 Light Sixer, which uses on channel 3 because I have an adapter on the back of the television that 
connects to my Atari 2600, and I'll just play some uh, Space Invaders. Okay, you guys. So pop it in my system. Turn it on. So she's working fine. Gotta just turn the. Alright, so I'm not gonna do much more of that. And what I like about this TV is that it doesn't make um like the noise, like the the staticky noise that here, like I'll show you. It doesn't make the staticky sound that this Sony Trinitron makes. And they uh just need to make sure this remote battery is good. Yeah, oh sorry. Yeah, this is my base. Oh geez, these batteries here may not work. Okay, they don't work. That's a universal remote anyways. We do have to be a remote somewhere. So, as you can see, power. I am going to turn the volume down for you. So, I don't get in trouble. We're turning on. I mean, it's not that well, I'm not allowed to turn on this TV. But you cannot see this on camera. Like these lines. I'm not sure when this TV was made. Oh. Okay. As I mentioned, this is used for my charging center. And sometimes my um if I just change a DVD player that I never use for no reason. So I'll change it to game input. And they uh I gotta plug all the inputs in. As you can see this TV only supports mono sound. Don't know why that is. Because most connectors at the time had stereo, like this does. Video, stereo. But it doesn't really matter which one you plug in, but you normally want to plug in the white. Because the red carries the right channel. And to be honest, the right channel doesn't carry much. And the, like, audio. So, um, um, click on this button. So here's the Sony DVD player. This is not trash trip, this is just down in my basement for forever. Because these are just... So that's working. And I, um... I hope you liked the short little video. And I, um... You may see more of this television sometimes too. And I'm probably going to do a review television over there thank you a lot guys if you want to see a game room tour leave some likes on this video we have a lot of likes um we'll do a game room tour upstairs um down here and such all right so gotta do some editing for the video now so so See ya. Bye. This flash is really in my eyes.